Stephanie Stitches here. Welcome to my channel where together we sew. If you're brand new here, thank you so much for coming by. Love seeing you here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell for notifications. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I love having all your comments down below. That keeps me making these videos because I feel like I get to know all of you. Okay, so today I've just got a quick little um, video for you. I wanted to share this pattern that I found on Wyndham Fabrics website. Um, it's a free download and I will have it linked down in my description box below. Plus I will pin it as the first comment in the comments down below so you guys can easily find it and download it for yourself. As most of you probably know, October is um, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So Wyndham designed this free pattern to make the pink breast cancer ribbon. And I made mine into like a small wall hanging. I believe in the quilt pattern that they supply. It's for a whole quilt, but I just wanted a wall hanging. Now, as you can see, I also don't have mine um, pink. <laughs> I have mine pink and blue because a lesser known um, fact about October is that October is actually not only Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month as well. And there has been um, some family members in my life that have had female cancers, but um, pregnancy and infant loss is definitely no more near and dear to my heart. So I decided to make this because in our journey to have our children, we have four wonderful children. We had several losses and a stillborn along the way. So this is an important cause and a lesser known cause. So I wanted to make all of you aware of not only the free pattern, but this cause as well. But the really neat thing about this pattern and what I wanted to show in making this ribbon is that no matter what cause you support, because there's all kinds of causes out there and lots of them that have ribbons, that you can modify this and make it your own and make whatever ribbon um, for whatever cause that you support uh, yourself. You can modify it and use whatever colors. Uh, my son is autistic. There's an autism autism ribbon. There's um, childhood cancer ribbon. There's all kinds of ribbons for all kinds of causes. So I just want to show you what you can do with this. Um, or you can make the original and support breast cancer awareness. So since it is October. <laughs> all right. That's all I have for you today. Um, I just want to share this pattern because I was really excited when I came upon this. And it, the pattern is a few years old and I saw it a couple years ago, but I didn't think then to do anything with it. I'm not sure why, um, but this year it, it kind of spoke to me. I was looking through my pattern files and this came up again because I downloaded a couple years ago and it spoke to me and I was like, okay, I need to make this ribbon. Um, so I decided to go ahead and do that. It helps me heal every time I think or make something or wear something or wear the ribbon. I've got a little ribbon pin that I wear that's blue and pink. Um, so this will be a nice reminder for me. I'll hang it on the wall. It's a month that I can kind of unbox all those feelings about what happened and think about them and remember those babies and then put it back in the box till next year so I don't cry all year long. <laughs> so um, I hope you enjoy the pattern. I would love to see if you make a ribbon, whether it's for breast cancer awareness, pregnancy loss, pregnancy and infant loss, or any other cause, I would love to see it if you make one. So please tag me if you post it on social media, Facebook or Instagram at Stephanie Stitches, um, because I would love to see your creation and see what you've come up with. So uh, take care everybody, have a great day, and I will see you really soon and share those creations. Bye!